Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here with another Barbie unboxing. Today we have some of the summer 2022, we have one of the summer 2022 Fashionista releases. And that is Fashionista 186. And she is a curvy doll. She has red braids. And she is gorgeous. She's got some gold hoop earrings. She has got a very cute curvy dress. And she is part of this new line of fashionistas that we've got. And again, here she is. You cannot really make her out in this lineup because she is one of the darker tones that we get. Uh, she is not the Nubian tone, unfortunately, which I will show you guys that comparison here in just a minute as soon as I get her out. I'm pretty sure she is the uh, more recent wheelchair Barbie um, skin tone. If not that, then the, uh, then the BMR 1959. Uh, curvy one, which I'm hoping because I'd love to keep her curvy because if you followed my channels, you'll know I love a good curvy doll. And again, here is her artwork. She is so pretty. And here she is out of the packaging. This is the first time I've really been able to catch pixelation on any dolls though up close but she still looks really cute it just gives it more of like a gloss effect in my opinion but I am going to do my best to get her out in one piece so here she is. But she's very pretty. But let me show you the difference in what I mean. And she's not the Nubian for um, Barbie Looks Model 10. That is the Nubian skin tone right here. And this is from one of my previous doll rebody videos. So she is somewhere in the middle between um, our uh, most common, what I guess I'll refer to now as like the Brooklyn skin tone and the Nubian. And there are two different shades that are actually in between that. So here we have the more recent wheelchair Barbie which is a pretty close match. I was hoping that she was gonna be this skin tone and she's just, just a hair too light, which is unfortunate because I don't have a curvy body for this skin tone. This is the only made to move doll that we've gotten so far in that skin tone. Uh, we orig I think the original Mountain Climber doll was probably this one, but other than that, we haven't gotten a, an actual curvy made to move in the skin tone yet, which is unfortunate. But the good news is I do have a matching made to move body to actually put her onto, which is great because that's what I look for here, is the ability to actually have made to move parts. So what we'll do is I am going to swap her. Now her shoes won't work, but these are her cool shoes. So those aren't gonna fit onto her new body. Um, her dress will fit, it will just fit a little differently. Um, but <laughs> uh, we will take a look at it. But she is a gorgeous skin tone. I really wish I had a curvy to go with her skin tone, but I do not. Um, 
if I find one in my collection, I am 99% sure that they haven't done a curvy in this skin tone. Because we have the Afro curvy looks, we have the red hoodie dress, BMR, and that's it for the for our African skin toned um, curvy dolls, I'm pretty sure. So the Afro is of course the most common black skin tone that we see in Barbie. It's the Brooklyn skin tone and then the uh, red the red hoodie dress Barbie is the one we just showed. I don't have any extra of the Afro Barbie right now. But what we'll do is we will try to I've got to clip a little bit uh, those rubber bands. To kind of release her from the dress. And remember when you are rebodying, always make sure that your doll heads are soft enough to do this with your hands. This may actually be a little firm, but we're gonna we're gonna try. Now, you can still occasionally find this doll in the wild. Uh, she is slightly older now. I think she's about two years old. But it is still relatively easy, but she was a more expensive one because she came in the wheelchair. So there she goes. That one fought me a little. It was a little too cool. Uh, but again, with these longer neck pegs, it is also kind of a pain because you can't squish the head down as much. But long neck pegs do help your heads from settling too far down. I just am more willing to take that risk, so I trim them down to like the original size that we used to get. Again, she's pretty firm, or she's pretty, uh, she is pretty malleable, just like that. Uh, with braids, I do worry about messing up braids, so I try to be careful. But, she looks really cute. And again, that's a perfect match. It's the same skin tone. Uh, let's see how her new dress looks on her. If not, I may pull in a fashion pack that I have, one of the newer ones, and make this a two for one video. Because okay. sometimes these curvy dresses don't look good on original bodies, like this doesn't look good. This looked super cute on her original body, and it's too big on this body, which is just unfortunate. So, we are going. We can rebuild her, don't worry. There are things that we can do in the meanwhile.
you know, I might just pull a outfit from my previously opened stuff because none of that screams that I really want to put it on her because it clashes with her colors. But just so you guys have a little bit of a clue as to what I'm talking about, I have like four different outfits and none of them really would look great on her. Maybe this one? Actually, you know, I'm gonna put this one on her. Now this is actually a two for one pack. Uh, so you get a Ken outfit and you get a Barbie outfit, which is always nice. I do appreciate getting extra Barbie outfits or extra Ken outfits. But most of the time when I'm buying these fashion packs, I am buying them for the Ken outfit. But this was actually a really cute looking um, Barbie outfit too. It's giving me a little bit of Avril Lavigne. And this is Barbie Saves the Ocean. Here is the UPC for anybody interested. And we do actually get some nice uh, denim shorts for Ken, which is always fun. Let's try to get this off in a reasonable amount. Oh, they are stapled together. Gosh, it's like they're married again. Talk about meaty. So here is the very cute dress. It is like kind of like a cap sleeve, but it's got a little ruffle. It's very 90s. And I think it's going to look okay with her colors. And it's got some cute little sunglasses, which I don't necessarily use those sunglasses very often, but sometimes it's fun to have them. And I might put those sunglasses on her because her eyes are a little, uh, a little wonky, but I can always go back and grab another, another one of her when they go on sale because she is a fashionista, so she's only going to be like seven dollars really eventually but we do have some distressed denim shorts for ken which are always fun uh, but i wish they would make these more uh, i wish they would put them in like elastic instead of just this weird uh cotton material or not even cotton it's like a oh gosh it's not a nylon but it's a blend, but it's very cute. And this is very like skater, early aughts kind of vibe. And it's a cute little purse. Nothing special about that purse really, but let's see how this looks on. Because sometimes they're really cute on the, um, on like, on the display or whatever you call it, like the backing, and then you get them and they're not so cute on the doll. I'm looking at you, t-shirt dresses. God, for a little sleeve, that was an effort to get that hand through. Why is this so... This is so issues. I got issues. You got them too. You give them all to me and I'm gonna find you. Wow, you really gotta fight those hands in there. They're throwing hands to get in those sleeves. Okay, 
So, it does look super cute on her. This isn't the perfect color to go with hers, to go with her hair, but it's pretty close. Um, and because she's in that kind of like skater vibe, I'm not gonna feel too bad just putting her back in these little like short converse. Um, but she looks cute. I don't think the purse really goes with it, but mm, it's all right. I've seen better. Did you put that heart sunglasses or her regular sunglasses? These might actually be for Ken, I'm not sure. There we go. A good way to cover up wonky eyes is with sunglasses. So, she looks cute. I like this fashion pack. I am disappointed that this dress that she originally came with doesn't work when I rebody her just because there's not a, uh, a curvy in her skin tone. I probably will pull this dress onto another curvy doll though, just because I've got some more that I could do curvy because I do have another couple of curvy dolls left that are just waiting on original heads. But so thank you Wheelchair Barbie for your body donation. Um, so Wheelchair Barbie and Mountain Climber Barbie I think are the only skin tone matches for her right now. I want to say there might be a petite that's also the skin tone but I don't remember off the top of my head. I don't think so. No. No, there is. There is a petite that's the skin tone because she has like the top knots, like the purple, um, the purple hair BMR. Yes, I'm pretty sure she's the same skin tone too. So those are going to be your three matches for this, for Barbie 186. Um, but I think she got an upgrade. She looks cute. <laughs> and I'm not always a huge fan of just those, uh, straight line dresses with no, with no structure, but that one is surprisingly cute out of the box. So if you guys have any questions about her or if you have any other rebody suggestions, uh, let me know. But... Thanks for watching, and if y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more Barbie unboxings, because there is a fresh round of Barbie fashionistas out. Alright, y'all. Be good. Bye.